people are sending me things to review and I love it. If you guys have anything you want me to review, send it to me. Huh. For today's video, it's gonna be super quick. I'm answering a couple of questions from my last video, which was about workflow, backing up your files, things like that. A bunch of you saw the Lightroom and Premiere Pro catalog template files that I had in there. Riley Castile asked, can you do a video where you go through Adobe Premiere setup? Terry Chenoweth said, awesome video, David. Any chance of you sharing your Lightroom and Premiere Pro templates? Alex Nunez said, you should do a video about the Premiere Pro setup. And finally, Studio Tic Tac said, do a bunch of stuff, but the gist was, the Lightroom catalog. Because they're both super simple templates and I don't have a lot in them, uh, I'm gonna go through both of them today. I think most of you are content creators in general, like myself, so you're creating photos and video at the same time, kind of working on them both together and then uh, putting them into the world together. So this should be a super quick video, just kind of going through the templates and how I use them and showing you how you could potentially use them uh, for however you do your workflow. And if you're bummed that this is a short video, Fear not, because another video is coming this week, because I just got this, which is the, uh... <laughs> I got the DJI Osmo action camera. This week, though, I will have an unboxing video and kind of first impressions. I'm gonna do a video, like, as soon as I open it and start playing with it, and obviously compare it to the Hero 7 Black, but, uh... Then I'll do a more, you know, complete review later. Also, real quick, before I totally jump into this thing, uh, I need your guys' help with something. This channel is about to cross 10,000 subscribers. It is super rad, and I'm, I'm super grateful for all 9,400 of you that are already subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe below. Let's, let's get to 10,000. But with that said, I wanna do something to like celebrate 10,000, kinda, I don't know, make it a big deal. like giveaway or or go do a certain video i don't know i'm not sure yet i need your help comment below what you think i should do to celebrate 10,000 subscribers all right without further ado let's get into today's super quick tutorial on those two templates that uh that i use every single time all right into the computer here and here is my working drive where we had that vlog template folder structure and here is the Lightroom catalog template and the Premiere Pro project template. So that I don't mess with these, I've already created a new folder, copy those over, rename them for today, and let's just jump into that Lightroom catalog folder. All right guys, and this is it. Right here on the left-hand side, you'll see that I have four smart collections already set up. If you click right here, you're gonna say create smart collection, and within there, you're gonna name the collection and then decide which parameters you want Lightroom to kind of auto-populate a collection. I'll close out of that, and you'll see that mine are super simple. The first one right here is rating of three star or greater. So any image that's in this catalog that's three stars or higher is gonna go into this one folder. The next one down is three star exactly. So this one, you can kind of choose different uh, parameters here. This folder, three star second shooter images. So basically, as soon as I import all of my second shooters images from weddings or corporate events or anything like that, I'm gonna take them all and say three star. And that's automatically gonna put them in this folder and it's also gonna put them in that first folder. The next one down here is four star primary images. So when I import my images, I'm gonna say four star, that's gonna put them in this folder because this folder is four star only. And it's also gonna put them back into that first three star image folder because that's three star or higher. And lastly is five star highlights. And again, this is, it could be is or greater than. You can't go higher than five stars. And the five star highlights is, it's just that. It's my highlight images. Those are the images that I'm gonna send to my client early. Those are the images I'm gonna put on Instagram or Facebook or, or use for uh, any sort of promotional goods. And, uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. So basically what this looks like is, I'll go in here and say add folder. We'll uh, pull from this guy here, my raw images. I've already put some images in there from our trip to Tulum with me and Morgan. So we'll just uh, import these super quick. All right, now that those are imported, I'm gonna click all photographs to grab them all. Say Command A to select all and hit four. That's going to set all of those images to four star for me. And when I look down here on the left hand side, I'll see them in my three star images. So that's my images and my second shooter images. And I'll see them in my four star primary images. So as I edit my images, I'm gonna be clicked on this four star smart collection. So that as I'm editing and I'm doing different things to them, if I uh, 
If I say, oh, I, I actually don't want, I don't want the spoon one. I can just say one star and it removes it from that smart collection. So now when I go back here, you'll see there's only 86 images in my smart collection when there's 87 images total in the catalog. So smart collections are just a way of organizing images within the catalog. It's not actually moving the images into folders. That makes sense? And as far as the Lightroom catalog goes, that's all I use it for. So I set up those four smart collection folders and that's it. But you guys can set up as many as you want. So kind of however your workflow works, if you're shooting with different cameras, you can set them up like that so that it'll pull certain serial numbered cameras into certain folders. There's a lot you guys can do with smart collections. So I only use about four smart collection folders, but it saves me about five minutes of time setting those up every single time I'm creating a new catalog. All right guys, I'll go ahead and dump out of the Lightroom and jump into the Premiere Pro project file. All right, here we are in the Premiere Pro project file template that I have set up. Uh, again, it's super easy for me. I just have folders built in there. So already on the left-hand side here in my project window, you're gonna see I have an assets folder, an audio folder, titles, video, and then I have two sequence files. Now you could just go up here to the top and say file, new, sequence, select your, uh, your preset and then uh, get a new sequence but I have two sequence files already set up. So when I open a new Premiere Pro project, I just go in here and say, am I shooting 4K or 1080? We'll say this one's 4K, double click and boom, I have my sequence file ready to go. And then as far as these folders go on the left-hand side here, I'll just go over to Finder and right here are A7 A7R2 files, GoPro 7 files, Mavic files, and RX100. I can just grab all four of these, drag them into that little video thing there. Let that import. And boom, just like that, I now have all those files in their respective folders underneath the video and uh, and all tucked away nicely. I also have an adjustment layer file in there. Uh, I use that all the time. Every single one of these videos gets an adjustment layer put on the entire top. I put my preset on top of that or my LUT on that adjustment layer. And uh, yeah, so I just already have one. Again, it saves me like two seconds from, from uh, going down here clicking this and say an adjustment layer. New, saves me time. And under assets, I have a black mat and a white mat. I use those a lot as well. So they're already in there, already ready to rock. I don't have anything in audio or titles, but that's where I, uh, I organize my audio and titles. Each of these little things seems small. It seems like, oh, that saves 10 seconds or that saves 30 seconds. But when you add them all together, and then when you say, I'm making a video two, three times a week, I'm running Lightroom catalogs five, six times a week, saving five minutes or saving 10 minutes or saving 30 seconds here and there adds up to be huge. And guys, that's it for the Premiere Pro project template file. Like I said, a super simple video today, just kind of going over the two template files that I already have set up in that master folder system. Again, we can go back in here and you guys can, uh, Take a quick gander at this. You guys can copy this. It's a it's a great little folder system. Video files, all of my different cameras are dialed in there. Music files, titles, sound effects, and then uh, raw images, selections, and JPEGs for image files. The Lightroom catalog files there at the top and the Premiere Pro catalog files right there so that every single time that I start a new project, I just go command copy, command paste, I rename it and then boom, I'm ready to go opening my Lightroom catalog. I'm not having to go into Lightroom and say new catalog file and then say where I wanna save it. It's already there in place, already ready to rock and same with the Premiere profile. And hopefully this just shows you what you could do with this because you can go way further. You can add more folders in there. You can have more smart folders in the Lightroom catalog. You could already have more assets in the Premiere Pro project file. There's a lot you can do just by setting this up ahead of time. And like I said, it saves you five, 10 minutes every time you open a new project and uh, and run through some images and photos. And that's it guys. Uh, that was very short, hopefully, and, uh, and hopefully very helpful for you guys. Like I said, comment below, let me know what I should do for 10,000 subscribers and, uh, and uh, keep an eye out for this video coming soon. DJI action. They basically just made a GoPro. <laughs> Oh, that's so messed up. It even looks like a GoPro. I broke it before I even got out of the box. I'll see you guys later this week. I'm for sure making that video this week. Guaranteed. Hopefully. That was a super fast video. That's gotta be the fastest video I've made. 
Hopefully this is the shortest video I've made. I wanna be quicker about like quick tips sometimes. Quick tips, fire at you, boom, 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 boom. Ask more questions in the comments below because I answer them in videos in the future. The future, 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 future. The future, 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 future. These pretzels are making me thirsty.